Alright guys, so we're actually driving right now to uh, Harbor Freight, so we're going to pick up some stuff. Um, do this lift kit real quick, as you can see right there, just uh, I got the rough country. Homie Kenny's going to hook it up uh, with all the install install part of it, and um, yeah, we just got to go get a grinder real quick, cut a little piece off the truck. A piece of my truck, like I was talking about, um, it was a lot more than I was planning on spending. It was, it said 40 bucks online, and it was. But then uh, the guy told me that uh, it didn't come with a battery or a charger, so I was like, what the hell? Like, okay. And I didn't want to buy just the battery, obviously, um, even though I'm only going to use it this one time. Yeah, and then I bought the Rough Country, as you guys can see right here. We're going to go ahead and set that up. Um, we'll take everything out and then give you guys a little bit more detailed look um, of what we're going to be doing. Um, also, I have to go to Auto zone and buy some other stuff. One tire down. Um, I didn't do anything, but somehow I still got dirty. We got a jack stand down there. We got a few down here. Then the homie Kenny over here. Honestly, he's gonna do everything, but I don't know why he's wearing these gloves. So, besides that, he's doing a good job. We're checking everything out. We got the spacers right here. So this is for the front, I'm thinking. And we got the shocks right here. Finally got the truck on the jack stand, so it was taking a little while. Kenny got it. it looks real good. Alright, guys. Alright, so apparently I got stuck holding the light for Kenny over here. But I am cool with that. Oh, by the way, bro, you're you're the new Baja Overland uh, mechanic. All right, so can't see anything, but we got that little spacer right there. We got the new U bolts in there as well, and we are putting the new shock in right about now. I'm just getting dirtier and dirtier. Like, I haven't done anything. It's ridiculous. Check that out. So this is how it looks. Better looks. This is two inch spacer, the block. And then you got your U-bolts. Comes with new U-bolts, so that's good. Um, and then it also comes with new hardware for under there, the bolts. This is how the shock is looking like right now. Um, so we got that premium stuff. All right, so what are we doing right now, Kenny? So right now we're taking off the front strut to add in the lift spacer. Everything taken apart now. And so we got the front shocks taken off. Those are the bounds that were in the back with the old U-bolts. This is gonna be the spacer. Goes in the front. Uh, we're just gonna put those back in too. Pop them back on once you get the spacer back on. But I'm looking at this and yep, I'm gonna need bigger tires mm -hmm. all freaking day. And then I do something and I bleed. Stupid. God damn it, Kenny. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done. We got the spacers on on both of them. I lost the it's over there. Let's get this done. this up right now well Kenny did again and this is finished result it's just why did we do this Kenny that is for the diff drop exactly what he said so right here just gotta put everything back together we're just gonna do this to the other side real quick just make a monster now alright guys so you can see we're done it looks awesome. I just definitely need bigger tires. Um, before it used to be literally like about my height or like yeah, about that much taller. Now there's like a real big difference I can tell. And before I literally would just like go like this and I would be in, but now I gotta go like all the way in. So definitely super excited to see Short Cold Struggle for that. You know who you are. 
And huge thanks to Kenny, which is doubling up as my camera guy right now. <laughs> but yeah, make sure to follow us on Instagram as well. And we should have more videos coming up. Uh, when I switch out this lift kit for a king one and definitely better rims and tires. But for now, 